What's up, 31 fam? How y'all doing today? Welcome back to Horror 31. Got something a little bit different today. Not quite a horror movie, but not too far off either. We're going to do an unboxing of this beautiful Aero Video Django 4K Deluxe Edition right here. And uh, I'm very excited. This is something that I've been wanting for a while. Josh kind of talked me into getting it. Um, not really. He, he ordered one, and then I decided that ultimately that I wanted to have it too. Um... This is a movie that I'm somewhat familiar with, but not really familiar with. So we're going to do a little unboxing of this. And then at the end of this, I will go watch the movie with the wifey. And then I'll do a little review of it as well. So you get a nice, good uh, rundown of the whole thing. Not just the packaging, but also the film itself. So we're going to open it up right here. And we'll take a look at what is inside. Hope you're all having a good day today. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate your time. I really, really do. It's such a nice thing to have. You lovely folks hanging out with me all the time. Ooh, look at this, man. When Arrow does a deluxe edition, boy, they do a deluxe edition, don't they? The first unboxing I ever did, ever, was Arrow Video's uh, Robocop deluxe edition that was very similar to this. So look at that beautiful slipcase. It's absolutely stunning, right? Look, the, the uh, spine is pretty. It's got the, um, well, it's got a whole bunch of information on the back. I'm not gonna read all of it to you. But inside you got your 4K disc. Look at that. Oh, man. Ooh, buddy. So you got your 4K disc here, and then I think this is a probably the extras. Oh, Texas Audios. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Man. Audio commentary by Spaghetti Western experts C. Courtney Joyner and Henry C. Park. Oh, that's awesome. So the second disc will be all the extras. First disc is the movie. Um, disc one is the, yeah, disc one is just the movie. So you get some really amazing artwork. I believe this is all Spaghetti Western related. I would imagine so. I'd be surprised if it was not. And that uh, wouldn't make a whole lot of sense now, would it? <laughs> uh, let's see what else they gave us in here. Beautiful postcard artwork. I love this kind of stuff, man. It makes these makes these uh, purchases, you know, worth it. They give you a little extra bang for your buck. Man, this is cool. I might make some photocopies of these just to make some artwork out of later. I've got some stuff I could use this great artwork for. I don't want to use the originals, obviously. Oh, this is awesome. I cannot wait to watch this movie and review it for you guys. I Honestly, I, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm not sure I've ever seen this one. I, I feel like I saw it with my dad when I was younger. Um, once I watch it, I'll, I'll have a better idea of whether or not I'm just tripping. And then also in the, excuse me for sniffling, in the uh, box you get a full color book. And this thing's got Let's see here. Man, it doesn't tell me. The movie is 92 minutes. It's like, a lot of these older movies are so much longer than that. Okay, so look at all this. Oh, this is just a collector's book with a bunch of information. Again, the RoboCop one came with a similar book. Um, it came with postcards. This is a pretty standard uh, packaging deal. And also, this last piece right here, the RoboCop one did in fact come with one of these. I just, I don't ever put this stuff on my wall it's a I'm gonna unfold it for you guys but it's a Django poster check this out guys guys and gals I'll put I'll make the screen larger so y'all can see this oh I may have to frame this look at this how awesome is that check it out though it's double-sided yeah dude these arrow these arrow deluxe editions man they're hard to beat they are hard to beat. This is, I mean, this is along the lines of a Criterion release. I don't see anything that's that strikes me as just better than a uh, than Arrow. Whenever I get a Criterion release like this, not that I'm having really a competition with the two. I, I, I like both of the companies quite a bit, but this is the Arrow Django 4K Deluxe Edition with the book, the postcard artwork, and the poster in it. Uh, it ran about 50 bucks shipped. Uh, I'm not sure if any more are available, but they, they were, they were uh, pre-orders. So, yeah, and at this point, I'm going to go ahead and go watch the movie, and I'll see you guys here in a few minutes with a movie review. So, thank you for joining me. I'll be back in just a few minutes. All right. What's up, 31 fam? How you doing? 
Welcome back to Horror 31, hosted by your punk rock dad. I hope you're having a good day, everybody. Thank you for your time. It is very much appreciated. Today, we're going to talk about a movie. It's not quite a horror movie, but it falls into the exploitation, spaghetti western, you know, arrow video stuff. We're going to talk about, I just did an unboxing for Django, 1966, uh, arrow video, 4K restoration. Um, yeah, so we're going to talk about the movie real quick. I'll just give you a rundown of what, the, what it's about, tell you how I thought about it. And then I'll grade the uh, movie, and I'll grade the, the packaging, and we'll get you on your way. Thank you for spending your time with me today, though. I very much appreciate that. Django is a 1966 Italian spaghetti western film. It was co-written and directed by Sergio Corbucci, and it stars Franco Nero uh, in his breakthrough role as the title character Django. Okay? The film is followed by two sequels, $10,000 for a Massacre and Django Strikes Again. Um, there's a lot... Of, there's many 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 Django sequels out there there's only two to my knowledge and it's those two right there the other ones are ripoff movies this movie was uh, extremely popular very successful and it was ripped off a lot so just keep in mind if you see a Django film and you watch it in its garbage it's probably not related to this this movie uh, to my understanding only had the two sequels um, the movie is about a coffin-dragging gunslinger who enters a town caught between two feuding factions, one of which is the KKK, the other of which is a gang of Mexican bandits, all right? It's mean, it's gritty, all right? It's not at all pretentious, but it's still shot with style and beauty. It's got a wonderful score. Um, the, the camera work in this movie is very good for an old spaghetti western, because a lot of them aren't good. I've seen lots of these movies. I like them, but good's a subjective word, but objectively, a lot of them fall below the mark. You know, the bar set pretty high on Western movies when you got folks like Clint Eastwood out there killing it. Um, also, I saw somewhere uh, on Rotten Tomatoes, somebody had written up a little like write-up about the movie, and they, they, they nailed it. So I'm going to quote Rotten Tomatoes as saying, the story is simple, but it hangs around and it sticks to your ribs because of what is said about humanity being imprisoned by our own structures, organized religion, the government, and money. All right, Django is trapped between two states, literally, Tejas and Mexico, um, or more metaphorically, life and death, uh, even as he brings a new morality, or amorality, and sadism to a gunslinging figure of old America. That is perfection. That is exactly what this movie is. I loved it. It is wonderful, and I can't wait to watch it again. I think it's got a lot of rewatchability to it. So, as far as the movie's concerned, I gave it a 9 out of 10, because it's gritty, it's violent, it's dark, and it's got timelessness to it this story is fantastic I need to put it up against some of the Clint Eastwood stuff and see which one some of the Sergio Leone films and see what came first just out of curiosity I'd like to know which one might have inspired the other um, but yeah this movie goes right in with those it is a wonderful movie and as far as the 4k restoration goes it is beautiful I commented at least three or four times to my wife man this looks good doesn't it and you know, it, it, it's amazing. The only thing is is that when they fix these movies up so well, like if you watch this on like a VHS tape, some of the blood will look a little more realistic because it's kind of a shitty picture. On this, the picture's so good that you can just tell it's like paint. But there's a there's a couple of things with the with the uh, with practical effects that I would say that they probably could have improved upon, but I mean, in what, in 66, dude, they weren't doing this kind of violent stuff back then, like they, like, like, was in this movie, so, um, I don't know, man, I thoroughly enjoyed it, I thought it looks beautiful, the presentation is absolutely gorgeous, these Aero Video Special Editions are just immaculate, I love them so very much, but yeah, that's Django, from 1966, uh, Aero Video, Collector's Edition, 4K Restoration, directed by Sergio Corbucci. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. I tried to make it quick. I didn't want to take up too much of your time. But uh, if you have any uh, recommendations or requests of movies that you'd like me to review and put on the channel, please let me know. I'm more than happy to do it if I have the time. So thank you so much. Everybody have a great day. Come back and see us. I'm trying to upload three to four videos a week on this channel. So yeah, like I said, if you got recommendations, shoot them my way. Until next time, I'll see you later, folks. Have a great day. Peace.